What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage video for you guys today. And today, I figured we would test out cooling pads. Well, one, just to see if they help me out at all. And if they do, well then, we can see which one of these two works better between the GT500 here or versus the Lilano. And we'll see which one actually cools better, if it actually makes a difference. Maybe it still won't make a difference, but it sure did when I had this thing brand new. So hopefully it will work. But before, it, I had like the paste and everything so poorly applied that it was was getting up to 96, 98 on the CPU and like 95, 96 on the GPU. So even the cooling pad wouldn't make them budge a single degree. But now it seems like the GPU has stopped throttling like crazy. It still throttles a little bit. Goes down like two gigahertz sometimes instead of being it's 2.2 to 2.3 that it's supposed to be. But I'll take that over 1.1 gigahertz any day. I think somebody said it was like only as good as like a G or an RTX or a GTX 260 or an RTX 260, something like that. And I'm like, damn, that's pretty bad. And it's definitely better than that. That thing's right in between like a 3070 Ti and a 3070. And sometimes if you hook it up to an external monitor, it can in some games compete with a 3080. But in most games, the 3080 is going to poop all over this thing. But it should. It was a hell of a lot more expensive than this thing. This was a $1,600 laptop. I think those 3080s, like the cheapest one, like when they first came out, was like $2,200 or something like that. Or like $1,999.99. So you might as well call it two grand, you know? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So the first thing we have to do is we have to get a baseline for temps to see, you know, temps and for score. So I'm going to go run a quick 3D Mark Time Spy just real quick. But I think before that, I think we'll do a quick comparison between the Lenano and the GT500. You know, just go over them, just show you guys what they look like like the USB ports, you know, all that good stuff. And then we'll jump in and I'll quickly run that 3D Mark. I think that's a much better way to do it. So let's go quickly do that. All right, so here is the GT500. As you can tell, it is a turbine style. So that thing on the center there, that orange thing is basically a big ass fan. And it just spins up to 5,000 RPM in this model and just shoves a bunch of air up into your laptop. And it gives it no choice because of this padding. Now I like connected this padding. It's got like some little things you peel off so you can actually take it off or not take it off anymore but you don't have to use that and then you could take it off and on all you wanted we've got these little we got these little feet to lock down your laptop and make it you've got a little rgb strip in the front as well and then if we go over here we've got a usb hub so you got your little usb c and then you've got your three outs so that helps on la some laptops. And then on this side, you don't really have too much going on, but you got your vent. That's where it breathes for that fan and it is filtered. And then you can also raise it up more if you want to get the right, you know, reading angle and whatnot that's comfortable. You got these two guys right here to help you do that. And besides that, that's pretty much it for that guy. So now let's do the same thing for the Lilano. And now for the Lilano, it has a very similar build. It has a giant turbine fan in the middle too, but this one's a little bigger, but it doesn't spin as high RPM, but we all know bigger fans usually output more CFM. Then we've also, just like the GT500, we've got little pegs that keep the laptop from sliding and keep it in place. And then on this guy, we've got our power button. You've got your, I can't actually remember what the M does, to be honest with you. And you got your RGB, oh, that's the RGB modes. You cycle through your RGB modes and then you go through your RGB colors from those guys. So we got power, mode for RGB, and yet again, color. I just wanted to make sure I had that in the actual lens. I'm trying to not crash it into my laptop at the same time. And then you've got your fan speed on this side. And then this guy just has its fan on the bottom like that. And as you can see, it's got raised feet. So that's just as much as it goes. You cannot make it any taller than that. The other one has more options. And then for this guy, the little foam can just come off. There is no sticky stuff on it. It's just held in by gravity. And then I just realized I forgot to show you guys this portion of the GT500. So you got your power plug, you got your power and you got your RGB mode again. Again, more RGB modes and then the colors and then you've got your actual speed controller right there. So I think that is about it almost. We just got one more side to do on the Lilano and it also has a USB-C hub on the side. You got your little C port right there that you plug into your laptop. Now you got three more ports and then of course you got your power plug. So now that we've had a quick look at them, this isn't an exact review of them or anything. So sorry that I'm not being like super crazy flawless with the showings of them. But I just want to do that real quick for people that have never seen them before, before we got into the actual video. So now let's go ahead and run that 3D Mark and see what the temps are and see what our score is for Time Spy. All right, just got done with the benchmark. There's our CPU temperatures. We did go a little tiny bit better, so it definitely helped. Now let's scroll down to the actual GPU if I can. There we go. All right, it 
helped it by a degree maximum, but average was a lot better. I think our average dropped six degrees or something. So not bad. Now let's go check our score out. All right, so benchmark is all done. We just got done looking at the temps. So now let's look at the benchmark scores. We got 10,738, which apparently is legendary. So I'll take it. Our graphics score is 11,096 and our CPU score was 9,081. So that's funny. Yeah, the CPU is pretty much right on par with the ones in my, what you would call it, it's my little mini PCs. Though I still think they have stronger single core, but multi-core, I think they're pretty equal. But now that we've got a baseline, I'm going to just chill for a little while. Like I said, the end of the temperature one, I almost forgot to even do this, but that's like, oh fuck, it's 3D mark. I gotta show them the 3D mark, so we're not gonna know if our score changes or not, or if our temps change. So I had to make sure I did both of them. And I was just thinking way too quickly about trying to get the temperatures. I think instead of trying to hold the camera next time, because that just wasn't working, because I was just like pointing it all over the damn place and it was still going out of focus. And now I have to focus all the time since we got rid of autofocus. So I think I'll just read off the temps and you guys are just gonna have to trust me. Or I'll scroll to the temps first, then take you guys off the freaking thing. I'll figure something out. But anyway, like I said, we'll let this thing sit. Luckily you guys don't have to wait. And then we'll hook up this GT500 and see what it can do. And see if we can beat this score, if it goes down or if it's the same or same temps. And if it is, then with yet again, I guess what I did didn't fix it enough for a cooling pad to make absolute, you know, any difference. But hopefully it will but we won't know till we try. All right, just got done with the benchmark. There's our CPU temperatures. We did go a little tiny bit better, so it definitely helped. Now let's scroll down to the actual GPU if I can, here we go. All right, it helped it by a degree maximum, but average was a lot better. I think our average dropped six degrees or something. So not bad. Now let's go check our score out. Now for the 3D Mark score, and we definitely did increase our score. We got 11,051 versus 10,700 or whatever. And our graphics score went up. We're at 11,432, and even our CPU score went up a tiny, tiny bit. So not bad at all. So the cooling pad is back to actually helping again. Now, I don't know how much that actually helps in games. Might be worth an FPS or two. Might not do anything at all. But if it's making the benchmark go up, I have to imagine it would get make games a little better if you can deal with all the noise. In which case, I'm just going to go and show you guys what this thing sounds like at full tilt right now. It's definitely pretty loud. Definitely not quiet, that's for sure. So now, just like last time, I'm going to let this thing cool off for like 10, 15 minutes. Just chillax. And then we'll come back and see how the Lilanano does and see if it makes it get a better score, worse score, same score, and we'll see which, or, and then that way we'll see which one's better. So luckily again, you guys don't have to wait. I have to sit here and figure something out to do while I wait for this thing to cool off. All right, so here are the temps for the CPU portion anyway. And we actually got a little hotter on the CPU, but that might've been because it boosted more. I don't know. We'll have to check out the scores after this, but I'm gonna try to hold that in place and we'll scroll down to our 6600M or 68 yeah, 6800 out. And we got C89 this time. So we dropped a couple degrees and our average was still 70.4, but we did get a higher score, I think. Let's go find out now. All right, so this time we got 11,247 for a total score. Our graphics was 11,638 and our CPU score is 9,451. So as far as synthetic benchmarks go, the Lalano wins. The temps and whatnot didn't seem that different, but it's definitely got the secret sauce. And partially that secret sauce seems to be some mild hearing loss because this thing is quite loud, which I will show you now. So while it's much, it does get better scores, it is much louder than the GT500. So you gotta depend on what you want. Do you want a little performance boost with still pretty loud, you know? But, or do you want something like this? That's just like, hey, you can't hear yourself think, but it definitely improves your scores. So if all you care about is performance and you're just gonna wear headphones anyway, this might be the better way to go. But keep in mind, this guy is like $78, which is still pricey for a cooling pad. This guy, the Lalano, that thing is, I believe I paid $109 for it. Then I came back a month or two later and it was 115. Right before I made this video, it was on sale for 96. But by the time this video goes live, I'm sure that sale will have long ended. So who knows what it'll be by then, but it's definitely a lot more expensive than the GT500, but it definitely seems to make this laptop perform better. There's no doubt about that. We literally saw it as far as synthetics go. What I should have done is I should have thrown a Cinebit or a uh, Cyberpunk benchmark in there real quick. 
there's still time. Maybe I'll just do that real quick right now before we wrap this video on up, you know? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to, damn it. This is gonna be a really, really good video. That's thorough, damn it. All right, before we start the benchmarking, I figure we gotta look at the settings we're gonna use. So we're gonna do full screen, 1440, just to make it, you know, work extra hard. We got high texture quality, ray tracing off, crowd on medium, field of view, 100%. No film grain, we got cram chromatic abrasion on, no depth of field, but with lens flare. No motion blur, of course. We've got the contact shadows on, the improved facial lighting geometry. Anastropic is at 16, and then most of this other stuff's at medium. And a couple things like distance shadows on low. I don't care what the shadows look like way far away. Who cares? Hopefully you guys can read the rest of those from there. I don't want to have to read every single one. But more importantly, it's the benchmarking. So now we're going to go run that benchmark and get a quick base. We're not going to really care about temps this time around. I just care about the scores. All right, we just got our baseline benchmark done and we got an average of 76.2, a minimum of, what is that, 66.52, a max of 87.31, not bad. Definitely more than playable. So now also let me just show you guys, I would I would have done this during the uh, 3D mark, but I wasn't thinking about it. Let's get a quick baseline how loud this thing is, just at 100% fans. All right, there we go. I like this screen because it gives you max fan speed, but then there's no other sounds, like no audio or anything to get in the way. So now we're gonna go ahead and hook up the GT500 and run the benchmark again and see if our score is improved whatsoever or stay the same or go down. All right, well, benchmark just got done with the GT500 and this time we got an average of 78.47. So we got like two extra FPS because it only got 76.6 before. Our minimum was 68.62 so we went up there by like two as well and our max went up from like 86 to 89 actually no it was 87 excuse me to 89 so we got these in fps there too so now again i'm just gonna like let it chill for a minute or two after hooking up the other cooling pad and then we'll get the uh lilano as well oh wait before we do let's just show you guys what the max fan speed on the laptop and this thing's fan speed sound like together So not too awful bad, but it's definitely a lot louder than the laptop itself. But once you hear the Lolano, you're gonna be like, oh wow, that, no, that's great. That thing might as well be quiet. Well, all right guys, the benchmark just got done and we got ourselves an average this time of 80.36. So again, we went up by like another two FPS. Our minimum is now 70.49, so we went up by again another two or three FPS there. And then our max is 91.69 versus like, what was it, 89. That's like three-ish FPS, like 2.8 or something like that, I think, to be exact. So this thing definitely helps with performance. That definitely shows it. Now, it's not a huge performance uptick, but if you're wearing headphones anyway and you want the most you can get while keeping your laptop a little cooler, obviously you didn't probably pit pull yours open and fail like I did at putting on thermal paste a billion times, so you'll get better temps than I am on, on any of your guys' laptops, guaranteed. But the fact that they are both helping this out again means I did a good job. I actually got it back to where cooling pads help again. Anyway, let me also show you guys what this thing sounds like. I'm sure you could probably already hear it from where it is, but I want to keep it fair and put the mic where it was, just like with the other two, with the bass line and with the GT500. All right, and with that, I think we pretty much are ready to wrap this video on up. We actually achieved something and I fixed my laptop, so badass. Let's go wrap this video on up. Well, all right guys, that's a wrap for this video and I'm happy to say both the cooling pads made a difference, but the Lenano definitely takes the win. It may be loud and not have as much RPM, but it does have a bigger fan and bigger fans don't slow down as much. When stuff is put on top of them, they have higher static pressure and it's bigger. So combine those two things together and that gives you more cooling performance. Although, since this one's still a big fan, it's a blower style, it does make a lot more noise than the smaller fan does. Now, a lot of the times, the smaller fans are more loud and annoying, but not in this case. This little 5,000 RPM one is nowhere near as loud as the Lenano. So you have to decide on which one you want. Do you want a little quieter and a little performance boost? Or do you want max fucking performance, bleed, ear bleeding, can't hear anything else going on in the entire room? But I don't care because I'm gonna have you know, nice speakers hooked up, 
or preferably some headphones, so it doesn't matter. And then you have to decide which one's more value to you. I mean, they're both pretty pricey for cooling pads. I mean, a lot of people get those like 20 to $40 ones, and generally, unless you've got like a really weak laptop, those aren't gonna help much. They didn't help mine anyway. I guess I shouldn't say they won't help nobody, but they're not gonna compete with these guys at all whatsoever. So the GT500, at least when I bought it, it was 86, but I just looked, now it's like 78 for the 5,000 RPM one with RGB and all the good works. Now this little Nano here, that guy was $109 when I bought it. Then it shot up to 115, but when last I looked, it was 96 on sale. So I, who knows what it'll be by the time this goes live, probably back up to like 105, 106. That would be my guess. But maybe it'll stay under 100 or right at 100. That's what they should do. Since it's so good, they should just make it 99.99. It fools people into thinking it's not $100 and then it's like, cool, we can still sell a lot more. Because over $100 for a cooling pad, that's a tough order for most people. Obviously people like me that bought like $3,000 Alienware don't care about spending an extra 100 bucks on a cooling pad. But your average person with your average laptop is probably not gonna wanna spend that much on there. But hey, Maybe some will if it gives the amount of cooling performance this one does. And it definitely helps out in game. We got like a pretty decent uptick from no, no cooling pad at all to this Lalano. I'd have to go back and look to see, but I'm pretty sure it was like a six FPS increase or something like that. It was like a four to six FPS increase, something like that for our average. And even our minimums went all the way up too to like 70 from like mid sixties. So the minimums make your shit way more smooth than the average. That's what people I don't think understand. They'll see, ooh, average is at 100, and then they don't pay attention to the one, the thing that's dropping down to freaking like 40, the 1% lows are dropping into the 40s, and it's gonna look like a stuttery, shitty experience. So that's why I'll go with the GPU that has maybe five FPS less average, but instead will have like 63 for its 1% low. That way it stays over that 60 FPS mark and it'll look pretty much buttery smooth. But anyway, this video is getting pretty long and I just wanna do a quick little video to update you guys, to show you guys that A, I got the laptop fixed for those who didn't notice, and B, now cooling pads seem to fix it further. I bet you that makes me me basically get like 2400 or 2300 again that's probably what gave me the extra boost in performance but we'll see next time i actually do a video or uh, a uh, gameplay video i'm going to use the lanano probably won't be able to hear any game music unfortunately actually no i can fix that i think i have some extra pebbles lying around if i just get those and put the volume up pretty high i think we can save that aha i already solved that problem aha, hell yeah go go i high iq go <laughs> anyway why don't we go ahead and wrap this video on up i hope you guys enjoyed the video because i sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys and until the next video peace out guys